Hey everyone, um, I got a package from 80's Toy Hunter, Jen here on YouTube. She sent me some more of her Garbage Pail Kids cards because I talked to her and she's from the same generation as me and we both still collect Garbage Pail Kids cards and sometimes she um, passes on her doubles to me and she decided to send me some of her doubles again and she sent me this really um, big uh, pile of Garbage Pail Kids cards. So thank you so much, Jen, for passing on some of your doubles to me. I really appreciate it. She sent me a bunch in the past. This is not the first time that she sent me um, Garbage Pail Kids cards. So just check out my playlist um, that's called Friend Mail. And then you can see the other, um, I think I have two more videos of her sending me um, Garbage Pail Kids cards if you want to see the other ones she sent me. And this card is so cute. It says, what's a three-letter word for a perfect valentine? Y O U, Happy Valentine's Day. And she puts, Sorry for the delay in sending the package. Hope you enjoy the cards. Hope your New Year is turning out great. Thanks for watching my channel. Talk to you later. Love, Jenny, 80s Toy Hunter. So I like Valentine's Day a lot. Um, Halloween's my favorite holiday, and then Christmas, and then Valentine's Day. I just like, I like anything with hearts. So that's why I mostly like Valentine's Day. All the hearts and also because of the colors, because the pink and, and the purple colors and the hearts. So I, I, this, I think this is the only second um, Valentine's Day card that somebody sent me this year. So I really appreciate that. Really cute card. And then the rest of this stuff was a surprise. Um, the Valentine's Day card, I didn't know she was sending me either. Uh, she also sent me four of these mini Monster High notepads because she knows I like Monster High. And they're just blank inside like that and then this one is uh, Cleo Denial and I like I like her a lot too because I'm fascinated by Egypt and I like all Egyptian things and like um, like to collect I don't have many Egyptian like figurines and stuff but I would love to collect like Egyptian like home decor and I always if I could visit just one place it would be to visit the pyramids in Egypt that would be like my dream vacation and then this one I think is my favorite, even though Gulia is not my favorite Monster High um, gal, but I like the frame around here so much and the artwork and the spider web in the background. I really like this one. That one's probably my favorite notepad. And then she sent me this one too. This one has like all of them on there. And then this one with Frankie Stein and um, Claudine. It says Ghoul's Night Out on there. So. Thanks for um, sending me these four notepads. One would have been just enough, but I'm happy to have all four of these. And then she sent me another Valentine. These ones are those small ones that like kids pass out in school, in elementary school. And this um, takes me back to elementary school when we used to pass out these small Valentines. And it says, you are perfect friend. And also came with a little sticker. It's like a mercat like a, um, a mermaid cat so cute half cat half mermaid and then the sticker is felt it's like fuzzy the tails fuzzy on there it's felt and then the, the cat or the mer cat is eating a fish here and she knows I guess she knows that she like I like cats and I like mermaids so both I love mermaids and I love cats and then it just says to Liz and then there's a narwhal in the in the corner and then it says on the on the other side it's from Jenny. So this is so cute. I love these little tiny like Valentines. Thanks again, Jenny. I appreciate everything. Um, I really like the Valentines, and I like the garbage pail cards, of course, and the Monster High notepads. And let me show you guys some of these uh, cards she sent me. I almost forgot. These ones I never heard of these, Jen Jenny. These bathroom bodies. It says that there, um, this sticker features a previously unpublished painting from the Lost Second series of Bathroom Buddies, the 90s Garbage Pail Kids cards spin-off. I never heard of these, of the Garbage Pail Kids um, spin-off called Bathroom Buddies, so that's something new to me. Uh, this one says Grant Slam, and then there's a, this baseball player sitting on a toilet. And then this one says, Goodbye, Billy. Goodbye, Cruel World. And then she sent me three of the bathroom buddies. 
I have to find some more of these ones. I have to look them up on online and see which other ones they have. And then she sent me two of these like re-release of the classic Garbage Pail Kids cards. This one, Haggy Maggie. These ones were uh, originally released in the in the mid '80s or mid to late late '80s. And then this one I remember, Bent Ben, because I used to collect Garbage Pail Kids cards in um in the mid to late 80s, mostly in the mid 80s, I used to collect them mostly, like mostly in 86 and 87, and I used to have this one, I had a whole bunch of them back in 86, 87, but I don't know what happened to them, I think they got thrown out, because for a while I just had them stored under my bed, in, in my bedroom for like a long time, for like 15 years or something, and then I think they were moved to like my parents' closet, and then with a bunch of other 80s toys I had and all that all that stuff disappeared from my parents closet so I think they got thrown out and I don't even want to talk about the other stuff that went missing um, the thing that I'm mostly upset about is the Spectra doll if you guys remember in, in the 80s those robot Spectra dolls they were supposed to be like robots and she was pink with pink hair and a pink like robot body so I'm glad to, to uh, have these two Again, especially this one. I know I had this one for sure. And then she, there's a bunch of other like horror themed one over here. 80s classic mon monsters themed ones. Uh, Sci-fi ones. So she sent me a lot as you can see. I can't go through them all because I'd be here forever. But look how many she sent me. I just want to show you like one of my favorites. One of the ones I requested. The planchette one. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, this one. Planchette. Uh, and then it's like a pl Ouija board, the planchette on the Ouija board. And then the Ouija board has like these razor teeth on it and a bit off two fingers. And it's all bloody. The blood splattered everywhere on the Ouija board and on the planchette. So th this is the one I, I wanted a lot. And then I also wanted the Carrie one a lot, which she also sent me. Because Carrie is, is one, is my... A lo Carrie and Pet Cemetery are my two favorite Stephen King movies. So I can't find... I don't think I can find the Carrie one right now. Oh, man. No, I can't find it. But, oh, here it is. Cautious Carrie. <laughs> when she has that umbrella because of the... When the pig's blood... Um, with the bucket of pig's blood that spilled on top of her head. So, yeah, guys... I just thought I'd share this um, friend mail with you guys and to thank Jen or Jenny on here. She doesn't, she doesn't have to do this, but she, she always is really super nice and surprises me with some friend mail from time to time, and I really appreciate it. T check out her channel, guys. If you're into, like, um, 1980s and she goes to, like, arcades, like coin pusher arcades or something, and she does, like, uh, claw machines, I think. I'm not, I'm not sure, but... And she does other things on there, so just ch check out her channel. Her channel's name is 80s Toy Hunter again. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.